Would you date a bisexual man? Uh, no. Okay. Um, oh. and not, not all. Bitch, no, what the fuck? Because of their sexuality, but it's mm -hmm. like, you like men too. I want somebody who just solely likes women. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just their preference. Would you date a faithful bisexual man? If you knew, if he came to you and said, babe, I'm bisexual, but it's me and you right now. No. Right. I can't. I don't, I'm not interested in I'm not looking at no men. I'm not trying to be with no men. It's just me and you right now. But this shit change, right? What if you see somebody walking down my rooms? I saw you walking. Would I yeah. date a bisexual man? No. Have I you ever not. dated a bisexual man? No. It, that would be an issue for me. I, mm -hmm. I don't. Just my preference is not to date someone who is interested in the same sex at, at times or sometimes on Saturdays, whatever the fuck. I, I just, I want you to strictly be into me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't really done an actual voiceover in a very long time. Uh, because of work, I'll be trying to give y'all a little like tea from the blogs that, you know, people pick up and speak about, but I haven't had the time to actually do so. But since this is Pride Month, I think this is the best time to have these conversations. So shout out to Just Hilarious Reckless Convos with the crew. I think that's her podcast. I could totally be wrong. But the conversation was, would, would a woman want to date a bisexual man? And a lot of conversation comes up with this because of the fact that, you know, a lot of bi men feel like they should not be discriminated against from heterosexual women who wanted to date them because they feel like, well, I'm bisexual and I like both men and women and you shouldn't, you know, deny me because I like men. And a lot of women feel like because a man likes another man in general, and this is more society versus just heterosexual women feeling this way, if you like a man as a whole, it automatically makes you gay. There is no in between. However, in reverse, when it comes to women and men, heterosexual men, wanting to explore their bisexuality with women, meaning women want to be with other women because they find it's a fetish that's more of a fantasy for them, if, because this is a weird thing about with the heterosexual men, I've always asked my homeboys, for example, would you have a threesome with, with another guy and a girl? And they always say no because they feel like, oh, us being two men in the room, that's more like a train, which would be, you know, multiple guys running, you know, having sex with a girl, taking turns and shit, obviously. But I consider it a threesome. But for men, they don't see a threesome with two guys and a girl. They see it with two girls and a guy. And for some reason, the whole thing about swords touching and niggas is weird okay i don't understand why niggas always acting like anything but they make the weirdest fucking gay jokes in the whole world but when it comes to sex all of a sudden that we get a pause on that but anyways what's about women i'm sorry about that um women have the right to deny you being a bi man dating them because again the the, the more stigma of it is is that she does not want a man to come to her as a woman i saw in the comments I don't want this man to cuss me as a woman about my nigga, because that's weird. And I totally agree. If you think of it like that, then yeah. <laughs> and because there's a stigma with, you know, men, especially hetero black men being on the DL. And, you know, there's some instances where the girlfriend or the baby mama or the wife, whatever, eventually does find out that there is a man behind the scenes messing with their nigga. And, you know, then because of the conversation between a gay man and, and, and a woman, and it just becomes a whole, oh, well, your nigga gay anyway, da 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 And it's just like, oh, what, my nigga gay? And girl, we don't want to have that conversation. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, we. We can go on that for days. So the question then becomes, past this question, why do men allow the bisexuality in women? Because there's some women who are bisexual that would not mind a threesome with a, with a man and another woman, but don't be touched by that man. And I don't mean the lesbian, like butches or dykes and shit who are touch me nots who don't want to be touched by a man or another woman, you know, whatever. I mean women who are fluently bisexual, who wants to play with both, but don't want to be touched by the man. And a lot of men be like, why the fuck would she want to have a threesome with a nigga, but she don't want to touch her? Because she has more pleasure with the women. And see, this becomes a conversation of how do you play into your bisexuality, right? So I personally feel like because I'm, I personally am a pansexual. 
because I've been with trans with a trans man before. However, even though technically speaking, I would be considered bisexual because I've been with men, women, and trans. I take on pansexuality because of the fact that even though I know I'm more into men, I still dabble in women. I could still dabble in women and. I'm not saying I, I, I'm not going to not have the full trans experience. I'm going to do it one time, but I'm not opposed to it. Okay. But what I'm getting with that is the fact that um, everybody has different tastes. People who are bisexual have a tendency not to always be in the middle. Sometimes a man can be more into men than women. And sometimes that man can be more into women than men and vice versa. That woman can be more into women than men and then be more into men than women. What I like that women can do that men can't do, because again, we have penises. Women can fake fucking with a nigga with no problem and get out the motherfucker way he get his nigga watch his business. But she will not come from that man. But she gets with a woman and can easily have the most enjoyable time in her fucking life. And that just plays on all type of shit. Like, I feel like sexuality have no bounds. And, you know, I'm not going to, you know, discriminate on anybody feeling the way they feel about who they want to have sex with. But you can't tell a woman who's heterosexual that she got to be with you. And the fact that homeboy was like, oh, like, OK, you just tell them you're on your damn self, one. And then two, you know, that's her preference. Niggas love to throw the word preference around, but she does not prefer to be with the nigga who likes both men and women. That's a motherfucking prerogative. Deal with it. OK, like, what the fuck? So... <laughs> what I'll say in this conversation is that ladies don't feel like you have to be with a bisexual man. Um, I know we're in 2022 and I feel like there's a lot of more acceptance to bisexuality in men. Not really, but kind of. I mean, not really in the black community is, is kind of getting there, but because the stigma around uh, gayness is, you know, there's no in between for us. It is what it is. But Ladies, you have every right to not deal with a nigga who likes both. Okay, the same way if you like both and that nigga says, I don't want to deal with you having a nigga on the side with a girl, then don't do it. But don't also let a man play into your bisexuality, if you are bisexual as a woman, and try to use that to always get a threesome out of you. Because, bitch, mm -mm. you ain't got to do all that, you know. Um, play by your pussy. And that's on period, okay? So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Right now, we are 200 subs away from 1K. Please like, please share the channel. I love y'all, and I'll see you next time for all this time. Peace.